In a time when most of the world still believed the Earth was flat, one man in 6th century India was writing about planetary orbits, eclipses, and celestial gravitation. His name was Vara Hamihira, astronomer, mathematician, mystic, a mind so vast it held the cosmos in quiet contemplation. Born in Ujjain, the ancient heart of Indian astronomy, Vara Hamihira looked to the sky, not for mythology, but for patterns, whispers of truth hidden in the rhythm of the stars. He predicted solar and lunar eclipses with eerie precision. He mapped planetary movements without ever seeing them. And he spoke of Earth as a globe, spinning in space centuries before Europe would dare to believe it. But buried within his monumental work, the Brahat Samhita, was a line so strange, so bold, that even scholars dismissed it for centuries. He wrote, Mars is red due to iron, and there are traces of water. Iron and water on Mars. In the year 550 AD, it sounded impossible until it wasn't. Today, with all our satellites and space probes, we know Mars bleeds rust, its surface rich with iron oxide, and beneath its frozen crust lie hidden aquifers, reservoirs of water ice. So how did he know? How could a sage with no telescope, no observatory, predict what modern science would only confirm 1,400 years later? Was it observation? Was it intuition? Or was it something deeper, a way of seeing the universe not as fragmented, but as one seamless intelligence? Because to Varahamihira, astronomy wasn't separate from spirituality. He didn't study the stars to escape the world. He studied them to understand his place within it. He believed that the cosmos was not a cold machine, but a living mirror of divine order. And if one looked with stillness and sincerity, the universe would reveal its secrets. This is not just the story of a brilliant scholar. This is the story of a man who listened, not just with his mind, but with his soul. This is Chronicles of Spirit. Follow for more stories of those who saw the infinite long before the world was ready to believe it.